Hello everyone, my name is Deborah West and I'm the Chancellor here at Arkansas State University Mid-South. ASU Mid-South is pleased to partner with Delta Arts to bring you Art and Soul 2021, an exhibit created by the clients at Mid-South Health Systems. For more than five decades, Mid-South Health Systems has been a leader in providing services that support the health and well-being of individuals in the seven East Arkansas counties they serve. And while we can't have a traditional opening this year due to the pandemic, we do invite you to stop by the rental center here on the campus of ASU Mid-South, masked up and socially distanced, of course, anytime between 8 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday to get an in-person glimpse of these amazing works of art from these incredible local artists. And now it's my distinct honor to introduce the Executive Director of Delta Arts, Alex Waddell-Smith. Thank you, Dr. West. Delta Arts was so thrilled to partner again with ASU Mid-South and Mid-South Health Systems for the eighth year of Art and Soul, a creative journey toward recovery. Even though we miss seeing all of you gathered together with the artists and their families at the Reynolds Center, we are proud to bring to you this virtual opening for 2021. Throughout the pandemic, at Delta Arts, we have come to live by these four words, you can't cancel creativity. And when we learned that Mid-South Health Systems was unable to continue their art classes where the work for Art and Soul is created, we knew we had to do everything we could to keep this beloved community arts experience going. We called on one of our veteran teaching artists, the incredible Angie Cooper, to step into the void left by Kathy Daniel, who had faithfully served as art director at Mid-South Health Systems and poured her art and soul into this event for the past seven years. Because of imaginative thinking and collaboration, the clients were still able to create. Their work is now hanging in the Reynolds Center and we are here tonight. What a testament to the power of the arts. When you view this exhibit, whether in person or online, I encourage you to take a moment to read the artist statements. This is what art and soul is all about. The process behind the work and the journey of the artists. In a few minutes, you will get to view a behind the scenes look into that process with the teaching artists and the artists themselves. This is a first for Art and Soul and a new opportunity presented by this year's virtual format. I would like to thank Deborah West, the Rocky Smith Endowment for the Arts at ASU Mid South, Josephine Flowers, Angie Cooper, The Framing Corner, my awesome staff and board of directors, and all of you for making Art and Soul possible. All artwork is now available to purchase from the event website, artandsoul.swell.gives, and will be until the exhibit closes on April 30th. Remember that 100% of art sales go directly to the artists. I hope this year you'll find at least one work of art that you just can't live without. And now I introduce to you Josephine Flowers, Director of Adult Services for Mid-South Health Systems. Welcome to Art and Soul 2021. On behalf of Mid-South Health Systems and affiliate of ERISA, I bring you greetings. I want to extend my thanks to our collaborative partners, Delta Arts and Arkansas State University Mid-South for always going the extra mile and making this show happen. Thank you, Angie Cooper, for working with our artists this year. Art and Soul was birthed seven years ago under the guidance of our then art specialist, Catherine Daniel. Instead of covering the six counties that we usually cover due to COVID, this year our show will focus on artists from our West Memphis program. Initially, this event started as a way of showcasing the hard work and artistic talents of individuals with serious mental illnesses. We quickly realized that it was far more than that. It was a way for clients to actively participate in removing stigma from their own community, to believe in themselves and to witness others value their hard work. One of the greatest treasures of art and soul came from hearing the clients describe how engaging in art distracted them from being bothered by their symptoms of illness. This would not be possible without you. 
Thank you for supporting us this year. Thank you for supporting us every year. Enjoy the show. This has been a really fun and exciting new teaching experience for me. Uh, generally, I'm working in schools with school children and we have a set focus, like we may be studying a particular piece of artwork and I'll build a whole lesson around that one piece of artwork. I like coming here every week because we can try something new every week. I like introducing them to new tools, new mediums, and just seeing where they go with it. Just and for me, it's kind of fun, too, because I get to explore alongside them. Like, I don't generally work in an abstract way. And so that's been fun to introduce them to abstract art and new ways of painting and creating. I think, kind of like what I mentioned a while ago, is the structure is a little bit looser. So it kind of gives me more freedom to try new things with the students and also help them to learn how to explore new avenues with their creativity. So sometimes we do drawing, a little more structured drawing, where we're drawing a particular thing or we're painting a particular thing. And then today we experimented with just color and mark making. So I had them work with palette knives today. So I just wanted to see what they could do with it, where they could take it, where they could go. And it's been, it's been really fun watching different students change their pieces from the beginning of the class to the end of the class. I wanted to bring ideas in and explore different pathways with them that could help them embolden their creative side and use some of their imagination and just have a really relaxing kind of, almost kind of like a zen kind of environment where they can just come in and work and just be totally in that moment, just making their work, work on creating and owning what they do and just be very encouraging. I, I want all skill sets to be able to participate. Um, even if you don't draw a lot, I still want you to participate and just try things, just explore, just, you know, give it a shot. I like a lot of what we've done. I, today is a, definitely a, a nice highlight, seeing where they've gone with the abstract art. I, we had a lot of fun also when I introduced uh, some work by Rene Magritte, the Belgian surrealist art. We did these surrealist portraits where they drew their head shape and then put a surreal scene inside of it. That was a lot of fun. Uh, a couple weeks ago we did white color pencil on black paper. So kind of like a, a reverse drawing. Usually it's graphite or black pencil or pen on white paper. So that was cool to see how they reversed, uh, reversed that image and put the highlights in opposite. So where the shadows were are actually the, the darkest white. So it was really cool what they did with that. I just I really like seeing what they do with the different things I bring in. Get my mind right, get my mind prepared for doing things, different things. It's the joy of creating. Well, it means a lot to me. This is my first, second time taking art. And I love the way Mr. Angel teach art. And it means a lot because it's helped me with my mental illness. Perfect. I love art. I feel good. I feel good about it. It's uplifting. It uh, eases depression. And plus, it makes the time go past. It made me feel pleasant and, and exciting. It's joyful, and I enjoy helping others, teaching others. For the rest of the day, after Miss Angelique, it'd be a good day. I don't be sad. 
I think about the work I did in art, and it relaxed me. Good. My days is good on art days. Uh, it helped me good. I don't be depressed. I don't uh, be sad, and I uh, concentrate on my work, my other work I do. Maybe me keep my mind right and think about the outside world. It's like uh, uplifting, where you don't, it's really no wrong or right way to do it. That I, uh, I be still and pay attention and don't be nervous. Uh, I don't have to do the same as everyone else. I can be unique. 